device-free or device-oriented morning routine. Which should you choose? In the mornings, experts generally agree that you should avoid being on your devices the first hour you're awake. This advice makes a lot of sense since forgoing devices benefits your health, but it isn't necessarily right for everyone. If you're confused about whether or not you should use devices in your morning, keep listening. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you choose whether or not you should have a device-free or device-oriented morning routine. Let's get started. Going device-free in the morning. As I already said, many experts say that you should try to stay off your devices for the first hour you're awake. Doing so leads to a number of benefits. For example, going device-free helps to decrease stress, decrease depression, decrease distractions, improve your ability to prioritize, increase free time in the morning, lead to better decision-making. Because of these benefits, going device-free certainly is a great morning habit to consider. Using devices in the morning. Even though going device-free is great for your well-being and health, it isn't always realistic. Plus, there are a lot of ways that you can use devices to benefit your morning. Because of apps and other features on your phone, you can easily use devices to improve your morning routine. For example, you can use apps geared towards meditation, gratefulness, devotion, working out, and more. Any of these apps will help you track your goals and keep your morning in check. The difficulty of using these apps is that you need to have enough self-discipline so that you don't get on other apps that hinder your morning routine, such as social media, news sites, or anything else that distracts you from your morning. Which you should choose. Now that we've discussed both types, let's talk about which one you should choose. If you're someone who sits on their computer, tablet, or phone for work, going device-free in the morning may be a great idea. It gives you a chance to unplug and connect back to your personal life. Another reason you should go device-free is if you have a bad work-to-life balance and don't have self-control when it comes to using devices and apps. In other words, you should definitely opt for a device-free option if you know using morning apps will lead you to scrolling through Instagram or some other time sucker. In contrast, you should use devices if you need guided help with your morning rituals and you have control over which apps you use. You need to have a lot of talent and skill in committing to your helpful apps and staying away from apps that hinder your productivity and connectivity. To ensure that you stay on track, you can set time limits on the unproductive apps to discourage you from using them. Though these time limits won't guarantee you stay away from unproductive apps, they can help you stay on track while using meditation or morning apps. Conclusion In conclusion, whether or not you use devices in the morning is up to you. Most experts recommend going device-free the first hour you're awake, but you can use devices for their morning-enhancing apps. What matters most is that you use or don't use devices so you can vamp up your morning routine and kickstart your day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.